can you imagine? What oh is going on? Yeah. This song will feel so happy. Finest baby girl. Uh, uh, <laughs> Ouch. Oh, Welcome. Oh, oh. You're looking on top of always it. Always looking hot. What do you expect? I am always hot. looking hot. What do you expect? <laughs> like, that, that, that is the clean point, baby. <laughs> Crime. Yeah, they oh, why are you both so happy? I haven't committed um, any crime yet, so calm down. Hey. Alright, just me. Okay, I will. <laughs> it appears the strategy is working. How do you mean? <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you. You see, the moment I stopped taking the check, it is cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he bought me a brand new phone. Really? The same phone that? she has been asking of him since last year. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. <you> <laughs> and he will always look out for an excuse to give. Mm. Mm. You know what? Bless who our grounds. Yeah. These men need us more than we need them. That's and it. if they yeah. must continue to have us, they must take responsibility for us. Yeah, right, baby. Uh -huh. Say that again. <laughs> God, we really bless the queen. Amen. Opening our eyes. Amen. You can say Amen. that again. I can believe this man have this money and they have been keeping it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, now I know that information is liberation. But you know that, baby. <laughs> Only God knows how I'm going to build this man going forward. Have take it easy on them. Just have mercy. <laughs> I'm serious though. I'm going to make now all the money they have I'm supposed to have made from them since they started messing around with us and we kept quiet. Don't be a greedy baby girl. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> if greed is the word, the men should be called out. Exactly. Yes. You see that Ichi Akidi? <laughs> he will suffer in my hands babe. going forward. Milk him dry. That's it, exactly. Mm -hmm. If you need your services, he must pay for it. Chicken up. No more Osho okay. free for me and my girls. What about that? Let me bash you. Let me go. Wait, let me tell you something, Jerry. What is this again? Thank you, Your Majesty. Has she accepted to marry you? Not at all, Your Majesty. Then why are you thanking me? I expect a thank you when she is yours. I do not think she will accept to marry me. Why? Why would you think or say that? Your Majesty, if you know how hard I've pressed to gain her attention, but all to no avail. She practically declined all of that. It is courtesy of you that we now talk and she's no longer hostile to me. And you do not see the bliss in that? She is beginning to give you attention, listening ears to the things you have to say. That is encouraging. It means that if you press harder, she will melt. She's only been a woman. I can tell you for free that she'll be yours if you don't give up. How long will that be, Your Majesty? I don't know. But give it time and you will get the desired result. This is why I've come to thank you. Thank me when she has agreed to become your wife wholesomely. Hmm? Okay, just oh my. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know I would like this? Hmm. This is so beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> wow. What on 
know who you are the cost of all this. Are you aware? Your Majesty, how did I cause all this? No stingy. You are not generous in spending and look at what it has cost all of us here. Have you seen it? Your Majesty, with all due respect, I am not stingy. I can understand the fact that uh, a lot is expected of me. And I will find a way to, to adjust, to meet up with your expectation. You better find a way and do that fast. You don't need anybody to tell you that these little, little girls, they are the reason we are still young and alive. You are right, Your Majesty. They are young and fresh blood. Makes us look younger than our age. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, come on, come on. Why are you deceiving yourselves? These are mere assumptions. I'm telling you, nothing like that obtains. Stop this here gospel. You cannot afford to argue with us on this. We are telling you that we will not sit here and watch you spoil things for us and we will just keep quiet. Fix this thing once and for all. Yeah? Ichaika, may I remind you that you are talking to the great owner of this kingdom. So you mind the way you talk to me. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Huh, right now, me. We are talking casually as men. When we sit for the Council of Elders meeting, I will accord you some respect. I am telling you that you have messed up a whole lot of things. And I am telling you that I'm not enjoying that nonsense you are spewing from your mouth. So you better keep quiet when I'm talking. But he's telling you the truth to no. know. You better own up because he's right. Wait a minute. Is this a kind of gang up or what, Your Majesty? Nobody is ganging up against you. No gang up at all. Oh no, will you shot yourself on the foot by not fulfilling your promise? Can you imagine that? How can you make a promise that you know you will not fulfill? Why? Your Majesty, I have already said that I will alter things. I will, I will make things right. As a matter of fact, as we speak, I've already ordered for the car. So why is all this, I mean, why all this hula balu about nothing? You are, you are making mountain out of a molehill. What is it? You mean the car you ought to have bought long ago before now? It's a kid. Oh, you are still talking. I'm talking, you are talking. Now, don't let me take things personal with you. If you spew out more word, one more word from that your stupid mouth, I will slap the living daylight out of you, eh? Idiot! You mean you will slap the living day out of me right here before the king? Oh yes! Go ah. ahead and do it and let's see what you happens will, to you. You see why I say he's not competent enough to become a no? Will you keep quiet? I, I'm oh no! Who you are tasking my patience! Keep quiet! Your right before me. I say keep quiet. I can't tolerate this guy in general. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me see what I can do later. Oh, okay. What about Mama? Okay. Papango? Alright, alright. I will talk to you later. I need your help. My help? I don't understand. I need to be free from a spiritual husband. I need to love a fellow human being. Please help me. So, how do you want me to help you? Will you help me? I will try. I will try. Be specific. See. I don't even know what you want to tell me. So there is no need of me agreeing to do it or, or not. It is something you can do if you want to do it. I can only tell you if you swear to me that you will do it. Uh, uh, listen, real men of Akama Kingdom do not promise what they cannot do. Promise you will do it. 
Yes. I will, I will, I will do it. Okay, then. There is... Something important to say. Your father, that is so stingy to his family, will buy a car. Eh? It's not possible. Because not there, if you want to eat chinchin, will join me. Ma, Kori. Mama, I am telling you something important. You're talking about chinchin. Important. <laughs> hey, Mama. You see that same Papa you and I know to be very stingy. He just bought a car for one of his side chicks. The news is all over the village. Everyone in this community is talking about it. I am actually surprised you have not heard. Chelo. Hey! Are you serious? You mean your father bought a car for somebody? I mean his side chick. Who is the person? I don't know, Mama. But I heard she's from this Akama. Chelo. Akama. Sit down. Hey! Hey! Chelo. You know what you do? Go out there. Do your investigation. Eh? Find out. Then report to me. Huh? Mm. So that what will happen, Mama? So that I can always... Uh... You can always what? Yeah, Mama. You know I don't trust you, right? I don't want you to do anything funny and aggravate the whole situation. It is already worst. I may have to aggravate. But you know I've always told you. I've always reported your father to you. I've always told your father of your father's escapades with ladies. Hey! Mama! I know that I still cannot believe my ears. Even if Papa is a cheat, he would go as far as buying a car for his side chick. I used to think my husband is stingy. I don't know, he's very liberal. Especially to those side chicks out there. <sighs> Papa bought a car for a side chick. Ono wo tokanando. Wo tokanando na toye. Hey! I have thought about your demand and I'm back here for us to discuss. Chief, there is nothing to think about about my demands. What is wrong with you? How do you expect that you make such demand and I'll jump into it as if I pile some money somewhere? What if I can't fulfill them? Chief, it seems like you don't know what is happening here. Honestly, I don't know. Please explain it to me. Okay, Chief, I'll break it down for you. Break? This means that before you will ever see my nakedness again, you will have to sign undertaking to fulfill all the promises you have made to me. You are joking, right? <laughs> I am not. It may sound like a joke to you, but it's not. What's going on? Why the sudden change? You men pushed us and we made a decision and stood by it. Okay, see what I can offer. I'll get you a room self-con at your choice area of Akama. Chief, uh, Chief, the least I can take is one room and parlor with toilet and bathroom inside with steady power supply. What I said is what I can afford. I'll place your monthly salary of 30,000 Naira for your upkeep and I'll change your wardrobe. Chief, you're gradually talking, but why not make it to 80,000 Naira? Think about my offer, Beric, and get back to me. Chief, there is nothing to think about. Tell me if you're ready for this. Let me bring out the form for you to fill and sign. Ebere, I insist you think about my offer. I'll be waiting for your call. You know I'm a very patient man, but I cannot wait forever. Say you don't see him, everybody get it right to you. You don't say it, whether you like him or not. You 
This is right of the side chicks. Hey! Oh, can't go see. No, now who are my 30,000? Me. A self contained of my own. And he will change my wardrobe. Who am I? Oh, God. <laughs> it is working. The strategy is working. Ha! Our dear queen, thank you so much. Thank you for opening our eyes. Thank you. Hey, right of side chick. Let me go home and make a delicious food for myself. Please sit down. <laughs> thank you, my queen. You're welcome. I don't need a soothsayer to tell me that you're happy. Happiness is an understatement, my queen. I'm overjoyed. Really? Yes, my queen. What's the good news? The owner who just um, bought me the car. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, my queen. You won. <laughs> yes, I told queen. you this would work, didn't I? You did. And the other girls are reporting to me that they have the men exactly how they want them. As it should be. <laughs> now listen, this is the beginning of good things to come to you. Thank you Just attach a level of value and respect to yourself. And watch you attract a lot of goodies to yourself. You're right, my queen. My queen, I owe you a lot. It's nothing. I have experienced more than all of you. And so the honors of guiding and redirecting you people lies on me. Honestly, we are very grateful, my queen. I mean, you stooping down to our level just to assist us. <laughs> Honestly, my queen. I mean, other ladies of your class would have not been part of this. And here you are. We are so grateful. You know, there's a saying that victory for one woman is victory for all women. Most women do not understand this. And that is why they keep fighting themselves. But, hear this. I am in no way supporting your immoral lifestyle. I am, however, finding the technical ground upon which to handle these loose men who are the architects of these looseness. Okay, my friend. Okay. Thank you. Getting too uncomfortable with all this madness. Yes, come in. Ozeman, how did it go? Her demands are unbearable. What was her demands? She's asking for your car. Uh, that won't be a problem. I can give her any of the used cars in my palace. Maybe one of those old cars. I can give her one of them. Is that I a think problem? She was being specific on her choice of car. So, what was her choice of car? She's asking for Mercedes GLK 350. What? That was the same question I asked her. I don't know what she wants to do with such kind of car. I think greed has taken over her. Go and get me another girl first. My king, I spoke with three different girls and they are all making bogus demands. So, what was their demands? The second one was asking for a Tieroba Lesus 450. And the last one was asking for a bungalow. Yeah. I think a particular level of madness have possessed these girls. How's that, man? Go and get me a kudo. The queen is in the palace. And ever since the birthday celebration, 
She has been watching and monitoring Akudo's movement in the palace. In that case, have your ego eyes fixed on my queen. Whenever she's not available, get Akudo for me. I would you trust that? No, we want to spoil things for all of us. They can no, no, oh, no, no, more, no, no. Good that gives us long life, elongation of lives, and makes us feel younger. Pin up, pin up. And you want to spoil it for us? Bye. What is it? Nothing. Listen, do not lie to me. I was discussing with you. All of a sudden, you started behaving like someone being strangled. I'm happy you saw that yourself. He nearly killed me today. Who? My spiritual husband. Is he that jealous that he doesn't want to see anyone around you? He even attacked me when I want to save you. Yes. Ah. Uh, seriously, you are in trouble. Deep trouble. So, so, what do you want to do now? Are you still willing to help me? Yes. Are you sure? I, I, I am willing to help you. Thank you. There is a bead around my waist. If you cut it, I'll be free. Just a bead. Show me that. Show me that useless bead. Look at it. I I'm not seeing any, anything here now. I can see it. It's here. I can't see the, the, the useless bit. Show me that useless bit. Let me tear it now. It's here. Who? Who, who is here? Who? That man? It's leave now. Is, is it that man? It has gotten to the level of you buying cars for your stupid side chicks. But man, Beatrice, what, what kind of rubbish is this now? Eh? I don't have your time this afternoon. No. You're going nowhere. My friend, get out of the way. Let me go. Udubisi, why have you chosen to be stupid? Eh? You said stupid. Wait, 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 wait. Offense number one. You call your husband stupid. Offense number two, you disrespect my office. Me, you call me by my name. A whole other who of Akama Kingdom. Oh, you match line this time. You look, don't ever try that thing again. Oh, don't ever insult me. Two insults at the same time. You insulted yourself by your actions. Respect, they say, is reciprocal. Mm -hmm. What do you see in those stupid girls that I don't have? Nah, no, no, no. Uh, eh? Do you know initially, eh? I was angry, but now I'm not angry again. Because I can see that you are completely ignorant of what is happening. You think it's about what you have and what you don't have? No! You see the car thing that is making you the way. It's a community project. Community project. Eh? And I am the one in charge. So please, stop insulting me. And please, stop overheating this house. You are the one overheating this house with your big lies of is a community project. I did not buy a car for anybody. Let me tell you, that community, whatever you're talking about, you made that up. Onyasi. Let me tell you, you're going nowhere until you tell me the truth. The truth must come out. Like, seriously? 
like seriously. That's the only thing you know how to do. No, no, we not touching gum. No, 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 no. Go and come back. You must tell me the truth. Nonsense. Right upside cheeks, you must Whether you like them or not, you must spell. Right upside cheeks, you don't Whether you like them or not, greetings, my king. Oh, greetings, my angel. How are you? I'm fine. The queen just left the palace, I guess. Yes. Come. Come, fill this cup and have the taste of my body. Come on. No, not here, it's your majesty. Why? What is the problem? Your baby girl has some pressing needs. What could that be, my baby girl? I need some money to help me fish some things that is bugging me. But as usual, it's a normal thing that I do. You just demand it and your king will supply it. Your Majesty. Yes. The amount is actually one million naira. What? What do you need one million naira for? Your Majesty, it's for my personal use. It's all right. You know, you know something. I will give you five hundred thousand naira today. Before the week runs off, I'll give you another five hundred thousand naira, making it one million naira. <laughs> How about that, my baby? That's my king. Feel this gap. I have a taste of my body. <laughs> Come to your king. <laughs> Come to your king. <laughs> Anybody now? Who wants to kill you? He was here. He was here. Is who was here? One, one tall man like that, black and with long hair. He wants to give me. He wants to give me a place. Please come, please don't allow him. The body is here now. It's just you and I. I'm sure. Me and you. You, I, you, you, me and you. Just you and I. Why? Why are you shouting? He was here. He's going to give. He said he's going to give me. Don't worry. I know your problem. You're just working up from stage. Yeah. That's your problem. It's just a dream. Which dream? You are okay. Nobody is here. It's just you and I. Me, you. Yeah, are you sure? My guy, nobody is here. Let's go. Okay. Come I will not warn you again to keep distance from him. I love him. You belong to me, you cannot love another. I am human. Shut up! And stop fooling yourself. You cannot love another man beside me. You are spirit. And I cannot belong to his spirit. On the contrary, you belong to me and my you will be forever. Please. Please let me go. I, I want to fall in love with a fellow human. I want to experience what other girls experience. Please. That can never happen. Our souls are bonded from creation. But if you give me the reason of taking you to the spirit world, 
through death, I will not hesitate to do that. I do not belong to your world. Please let me go. Why are you looking at me like that? What is it? Who were you talking to? I was praying. Praying? That is not how to pray. And besides, this is not the rightful place to pray. The queen sent you on an errand, right? How did you know? It is not good to keep the queen with you. Hello. Are you the person the receptionist says wants to see me? No, sir. I am actually here to see the manager. Well, I'm actually the new manager here. I resumed work today. Are you? Yes, I am. Are you? Yes, I am. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, good. Um, my name is Beatrice. Okay, nice I, to meet you, Beatrice. Thank you. I make cakes and I also bake meat pie. I had an agreement with Mr. Johnson to supply cakes and meat pie to your hotel. But now that he's been transferred, I don't know if that means I would have to... No, that won't be necessary. As a matter of fact, Mr. Johnson briefed me before he left. He so did? I'm aware, yes. And, um... I would say you can supply us with the cake and meat pie. Really? Yes. Thank you so much, sir. My pleasure. <laughs> Beatrice! <laughs> so this is what you do, eh? This is what you now do. You have turned to a shower. No, you, you now sleep in hotels with men. Hey. Excuse me? Will you shut up? Who is talking to you? Huh? Now, before I close my eyes and open them, I need you out of this place now running home. Now move! Papa! Papa, what is what kind of embarrassment is this now, Papa? For crying out loud, you don't know who he is or what we are even discussing. How can you embarrass me like this? I don't care who he is. I don't want to know him. I don't care about what you're discussing. All I'm saying is I should leave this place this minute before I change my mind. Now move! And you, you see this girl is the apple of my eyes. I don't play with her. If I see you close to her again, eh? I will deal with you mercilessly. Sir, you're mistaken. You don't even know me. You don't even know where this, what we're discussing. And you're threatening me? Hi. Look, I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to know what you're discussing. All I'm saying is that leave her alone. If you don't leave her alone, you have me to contend with. Hi. Now you move. You are still talking. I said, come on, go home. Yeah, Papa, I will it? break your head. Yeah, Papa, Papa, what, is it? what is it now? What is it? Eh? Where you think you're going? Oh, you're going to meet another man there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This way. This is the way to get. Get me, Papa! Come on, come! What? Hey, George! Let me see you! What is this now, Papa? Why are you saying this? Let me see you in this place again! Hey, George! Hey, you! You! Eh? You! I'm going to report you to the manager! I will report you! So you bring small, small children, 100 people's children, to this hotel to sleep with! Look at you! You are a Casanova! Look at the way you're looking at me, idiot! Uh, sir, no, no, shut up! Shut up! Don't talk to me! Sir, yeah. I said don't talk to me, idiot! He doesn't even know I'm the manager. And he assumes I'm sleeping with his daughter. I am not that kind of person. Hey, what is the same thing now? Eh? John Bosco, how many times will I give you this list? That means you didn't even drop them down when I was calling them for you. Now what for you? So you want me to repeat the list on over there? Oh yeah, now I'm actually going out there now. Maybe 10 crates is okay, so when I come you will not see it. Alright now. 
What do you want? Baby, please. Let's talk. We have nothing to talk about. No. We have everything to talk about. Beauty, I have moved on and I expect you to do the same. You didn't just say that to me. I did. For all I care, you can go on with your sugar daddies who are busy buying you everything that you need on planet Earth. Taking care of you and giving you all the money from head to toe. Please, just go ahead with them. Maybe you're taking this so far, please. I am I'm... ready to take it to when it lands. I am not interested in this relationship again. No, baby, please, please. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I hate it I'm when you so lie to me. me. I'm not lying to you. You mean the word to me. I'm not lying to you. I'm yes, sorry. Yes, you cheat on me. It wasn't intentional. Oh, really? Yes. So the devil pushed you into it? <laughs> Baby, please, I'm sorry, please, forgive me, I'm sorry. The devil pushed you into it? <laughs> Why don't I see? I'm not going to leave you until you forgive me. Please, just forgive me, I'm sorry. I want you to me. tell that devil to push you back to that place. <laughs> For the records, I bear no grudges against you. I just want you to understand that. I am no longer going to tolerate all you have made me pass through in this relationship. And for those reasons, it is over. No, I am not interested no, again. Please, 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 baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, please. Medicine after that. <laughs> okay. After how the child Borocha and Gwangwa denied by everything, you now want to come back to me. Well, when you're done, you can find your baby, way out. Please, Leave please. me alone. Baby's beauty, I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to wait for you here. You must forgive me. <laughs> you look radiant and beautiful. <laughs> really? Yes. The way you're saying this, I mean, does it mean I've not been looking beautiful? I didn't say that. <laughs> Better. Uh, um, I... Thank you. I actually want to, you know, ask you some serious questions. And I will appreciate it if you give me honest answers. Here's the thing, if I have answers to the questions that you're going to ask, I will gladly supply you the answers that you require. All right. Um, how well, I mean, how much do you know Ndoka? Hmm. To be honest with you, I don't know much about him. But I do know he's a man of our karma. Then, why were you advising me to marry him? I don't need to know him much to know that the woman that he ends up with will enjoy him. <laughs> no, I don't understand his wit. You don't know him that well. Yet you want me to marry him. Please make it make sense. Cause Have you? Settle down to assess Ndoka as a man. The qualities that he oozes off include that of a loving husband and the fact that he is a complete gentleman. <coughs> Haven't you seen him? Haven't you noticed these traits? I never knew you were such a relationship expert. <laughs> Really? I'm just saying, he'll make a good husband for you if you take the time to get to know him. So, I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you more, my queen. Huh? <laughs> um, babe, what about what we discuss? Uh, my uncle said moon's ending. 
Okay, okay, good, good, good. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll tell my people to so we'll come on then, okay? That would be nice. I'll miss you. I'm going let to me, miss you. Let me get my bag so I can start going. Baby, guess what? What? I can't wait to be called your wife. Very soon, okay? Hmm? Very soon. Don't worry. Very soon I'm going to be a car owner. And you'll be the one driving it. Car? Yeah. How? how? How do you want to get a car? Oh, don't worry about that. My uncle said, one of my uncles actually said they are going to buy me a car. So, a car? Yeah. Are you for real? Of course. Oh, all right, and then let me start going, babe. Let me start going. I baby. don't want to get to Lagos late. Okay, let me help you. Ah, relax. All right, thank you, thank you, babe. I, I'm not seeing bike. Let's go to the front and no, get back now. No, let's stay here and wait now. Ah, bike babe, usually bike is passing. not coming. I don't relax, want to get to the city baby. late. Relax, very soon you'll be driving to the city. Ah, ah relax. Baby, you know I'm not supposed to be here. My love. You need to calm down. Stop telling me to calm down. Stop telling me to calm down. Eh, your father will be mad at me if he comes in here and sees me here. Baby, relax. You need to... Mama. You have nothing to worry about. I invited you here. Okay? Mama, Mama, Mama I have everything to worry about. Mama, I need to, we needed to have seen the way he reacted the other day that he, he, he found me outside with Beatrice. How much more walking into this place and seeing me seated in his a living room on his couch? Mama is going to be mad at me, please. Nah, forget his reactions. I rule in this house. Oh. Whatever I say, pack him on it. Eh? Don't worry yourself. Trust my mother. If all I know, that man could walk in here with the cutlass. Please, let, let me just stay outside. My dear, I know him better than you do. So, coming in with cutlass will be when I'm not here. He cannot come in with a cutlass when I'm here. Hmm? Okay? Maybe you take time to educate him. Tell him more about me. I will, Mama. Babe, trust my mom. I mean, that happened the other day because she was not around. Such will not happen in her presence. Yes, so um, have you given him something? Mama, he refused everything. He's been so nervous, he didn't even want to drink something as little as water. I, I don't want anything. I, I just want to walk out of this place. I want to stay outside. Babe. Relax yourself, okay? You don't trust my mom. Babe, you are big. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Oh my! Don't push me down. You don't welcome. push me down much. Sit. <laughs> Sit, please. Thank you. You're welcome, my love. Thank you. So, I was rushing to come see your Casey. Where is he? Casey waited and. When he didn't see you, he had to go. Oh, babe, I'm so sorry. I was so busy at the shop yesterday. Please, I'm sorry, my friend. It's okay. Um, I thought as much. <laughs> it's all good. So, babe, tell me, I'm curious about something. So, tell me, how do you manage to stabilize your relationship with Casey, despite being into married men? Honestly, my dear, it's not easy. I'm just doing this because my future lies with Casey. You understand? Mm. Yeah, it's true. I wish I could do the same. Of course you can if you want. If you see a man you love and you want to spend the rest of your life with, just give him mas maximum respect, love and care. And you're good to go. He won't even suspect you. <laughs> Babe, hey, he's smart ass. You have a point, you know. I mean, if other girls can be like you, we would not have problems. Unlike that, our friend Beauty, who always challenged her boyfriend Mokede, telling him that she's into married men because of the money. Can you imagine that? You don't say. I'm telling you the truth. You mean she actually said that to his hearing? Yes. Oh. 
then that's the end of that relationship. Because no man would take that from the lady he loves. I mean, how could he make such utterances? <laughs> you are talking as if you don't know our beauty. He's always claiming she's this um, intelligent, smart. No one can beat her bad ass girl. Intelligent. She's far from intelligent, my dear. So long as I'm concerned, she's far from it. In fact, she's a typical example of beauty without brains. <laughs> oh, this girl. This girl, when will you stop? You are this your bad mouth. But I'm saying the truth. Okay, fine, no problem. I'm not agreeing with you. <laughs> um, you didn't even offer me anything. <sighs> but hold on. Let me. I, I didn't see your car. Where did you park it? Car. Yes. Babe, are you the one saying this? I have to go and hide the car somewhere now. Guess he's not aware of the car yet. I'm still thinking about what to tell him. You know, I want to plan it so well. So that, you know, well, he how won't feel suspicious, you know. Anything fishy. How long do you intend hiding it from him? Um, well, not too long. Because I hinted him before he left that one of my uncles is going to buy me a car. So, it should be ringing in his mind by now. Maybe month end or something. I will just tell him, my uncle has finally bought me the car. Hey, you don't lady. understand. I have a smart ass <laughs> friend. Look at you. Babe, you smart. Hey. You be correct, babe. My Not like friend. this. Our <laughs> girls of nowadays, they go celebrate the car. They go post them on social media to the extent that their boyfriend will find out. And at the end of the day, can man go to dig out where the car come out from? Before you know it, my sister, relationship would die. I have not come to joke. I am not stupid now. It is survival of the smartest. You have to be smart about this. This girl. Oh, that is by the way. My sister, let me tell you the real thing. Go on, I'm hearing oh. you. <laughs> Casey is coming with his people to ask for my hand in marriage. And you are invited. It's a lie. What is wrong with you now? Wait until the end of next month, my love. Are oh, you serious? I'm telling you that's so, the truth. Wait, 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 wait. Very soon you're going to be missus. Of course. Oh my yes, god! Now. How did you do it? Mm -hmm. Just just wait till the end of this month. Come here, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy Thank for you. you, my love. So before you know it, now you'll be missus. Mm -hmm. I mean I go day here. Don't no mm -hmm. worry, I go collect that your mm -hmm. that your loo from you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nobody else. What is wrong with no, you? No, You're no, married, no, get no, no, no. But when did you start noticing the presence of the spiritual husband? When I was nine years old. It it's really a long a long time. Yes. And since then he has been consistent. So how did it happen? I started seeing him in my dreams. He keeps talking to me. We became friends. And he even gives me gifts in the dream. Can you remember the first time you saw him in the physical? Yes. When I was 15. Today I went to the stream to fetch water. I was coming back on a lonely road. Three men came to me with the attempt to rape me. He killed the three of them. And ever since then, till today, I see him physically. Really? It's a, it's a serious one. Uh, do you remember how you got connected to him? After he killed those three men, he came to the dream and asked me to sleep with him. Each time he does that, I resist him. But I, I, I gave him one day mm -hmm. and after that i fell in love with him though i spoke to my mother about it and she said she was going to help me to find out who he is so what did she find out i am actually the reincarnation of my grandmother this man married my grandmother he died at a young age 
they had no issue, they had no child. And ever since then, he vowed to reconnect with me and make my life miserable. Ah. This man is a wicked man. This is pure wickedness. Huh? Izu, this is exactly my point. I have no business with this man. I don't know anything about the reincarnation. I have my own life to live. I do not have anything to do with the reincarnation. But he keeps tormenting my life. I just want to be free from him. You know what? Relax. There is always a way out. Relax. Everything will be fine. Baby, are you sure this is going to work out? Babe, this is going to work. Trust me. Oh, my heart is not very strong on this, honestly. Well, that is because you're overthinking what happened the last time. However, my mom was not around. Today she's here. You have her support and you have mine. I just hope. Why are you breathing like that? You're just panting like a Christmas goat. Why are you scared? I've told you I am here for you. What is the problem? I know what I am talking about. I know what I'm saying. Babe, my father is a man like you. Face him squarely. That's a Baby, calm down. He's a man like you. Face him squarely. Baby, not in this house. Huh? Oh, please don't show him. I am here for you. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, Father, you're welcome. You again? Huh? What are you doing in my house? He's here to make his intention known to us about our daughter. Yes, sir. I am in love with your daughter and I want to marry her. Will you shut up? Huh? In love with you? Is this the way you marry in your place? Where you know we're brought up? Huh? That leave my house now. If not, I'll kill you alive. Father, he, your... Father, he is going nowhere. What is this? Why are you always chasing all the men you see around the other way? Ask him, eh? Mama. You're in here. You're not going to marry her. Oh. You want to marry her? Oh. So, your madness. Knows no limit. Yes, sir. Eh? Mm. You call this one one of the people. Eh? Look at his hair. Like those boys pressing Android for. You want this one to marry my daughter? Father, he may not be a man to you, but he is the man I love, and I'm going to marry him. Are you going to marry him? <laughs> Look at you, marry who? This one. Yes, Papa. Hey, marriage, amen. <laughs> Are you okay? Very okay. I think your madness is back. I need some sleeping pills. Get your Come on, we have visitors, so I will just walk back to the video. And you, I'm going into my chambers. By the time I go in there and come back, we will know whether he's your man or not. Your man. He's my man, Papa, and he's going nowhere. Go and chew your gum. Nah. Thank you, mother. I am here for you. Thank you, mother. Babe, babe. Why are you sure he's not going in there to get involved? Let him bring mother. out the gun and shoot all of us. I have had it with him. Is he going to marry me? Let him bring out this gun this and is, shoot us. That's what I've been saying here. I, let me leave. Let me stay outside. Babe, 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 babe. Is this how you're going to marry my daughter? No, 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 no. Okay, now. You will not understand. This is his house. Babe, babe, and I'm by your side. Is that not enough? My mother is... You have my mom, you have I'm here. A permanent separation can be triggered between this spiritual husband and this girl he is marrying against her wish. Our ancestors already provided a procedure that must be followed for the separation to take place. But it is not my work. You still remain the only one I know in this town. 
who is still committed to the tradition of our fathers. If you are not the one who will help her in this separation, who else should we approach? Can you ask this lady in question to come and see me? Why? There are some specific questions I want to ask her. Obuefi, she has already told me everything. If there is any question you need to ask her, ask me. I will be able to answer on her behalf. She has told you everything like you said. But I'm telling you here and now that she has not told you anything. What, what does that mean? Ask her to come see me on any AK market day. In this my compound. I hardly leave this compound on AK market days. When she comes, we are going to get to the root of the problem. And then I will be able to know the very Dibia who is going to handle the problem. What? Must we involve a Dibia in this? Hugh Wakika Biyama is the one who created all the Dibias. And they are doing his work. As we cannot do without food and water, we cannot equally do without the Dibia. Ask me to go, please. Let's talk. I'm sorry. There is nothing to forgive you about. Look, you prefer old married men in our petty from one corner to another with them. What do you want me to forgive you about? You've chosen them over me, so that is it. So be it. See, I've realized my mistake. I, I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Mama said, Makachuku, I am so disappointed in you. Only asking for second chance. Just second chance. I promise it's not, this is not going to happen again. Just second chance, please. Please, I'm sorry. Please, you I'm sorry. Betray the love I had for you. You threw it to the mud. I was busy loving you. I loved you with everything in me, with all my heart. I was willing to do anything. You just took all the love and threw to the mud. I can't even explain it. I don't know what got over me. But I've come to make amends. Please, baby, please. Please forgive me, please. I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry, please. Please don't ask me to go, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I loved you with everything in me. I don't know why you just have to do what you did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Sit down. You asked to see me. Yes, I did. 
I'm here now. Mm, yes. You see, Chief, I have thought about your proposal and my proposal. So I think we need to make a little adjustment in order to accommodate you and I. Okay. I'm listening. Uh, Chief, I will go with the self contained But please, you need to upgrade the monthly allowance to 50000 Settled. Oh, really? <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, Chief, thank you so much. Thank you. I guess you're happy now. I am very happy. I'm so happy now. I need you to know I'm dedicated to your happiness. <laughs> you have proven that once again. Thank you. Thank you. at your shape. Figure eight. Where you to watch. You look sumptuous. Take away. Peri perichous. Honestly. Oh no. <laughs> yes. How many times do I need to tell you this? I don't understand. Tell you what. This is the third time you are visiting my house unannounced. Oh that. Oh my bad. I forgot. Eh? Hey, but don't worry. Are you not my babe? Come on. What if my boyfriend is still around? Ah, come on, Ivy. That is not possible. It's impossible. I know that he will not be around. How did you know? Oh, you don't seem to trust me again. My Yukomita eh, is zeroed on you, heavily focused. So everything about you, <laughs> it captures it. <laughs> eh? So why are you here? Ah, come on, you can see now it's like you are taller than me. Calm down, calm down, let's talk. Hmm? Look, um, I have reserved five cool days for us to go to Port Harcourt and enjoy ourselves. Five cool days. <laughs> eh, vacation. Mm, eh. Sounds nice. I know you would like it. As a mm. matter of fact, I know you would love it. <laughs> Who don't like with that thing? Oh, you see, when you smile, give me this smile, give me this smile. You don't know, always miss your smile. When you smile like this, eh, you take me to cloud seven. <laughs> so, this weekend, right, uh, we are going to leave. So, be prepared. Pack your things, okay? Eh? <laughs> it's going to cost you two million, no, no. Eh? Yeah. Two guinea. Mm. Have you? Why now? Why are you like this? Hmm. Hmm? I mean, you want to have me for five solid days? Come on! It's going to cost you a fortune, don't you agree? Look, it's not as if I'm having you. We are having ourselves. <laughs> eh? We enjoy ourselves. I'll spend the money. So why are you like this now? It's alright. You know what I'll do? I'll give you half a million. That should do, okay? <laughs> yes? That will translate to... 100k per day? Oh my god. No, it's not going to work. <sighs> it's not going to work. Ivy, you suddenly turned yourself to a mathematician just because of a vacation. Why would you want to divide the money by the number of days? Hmm? <sighs> oh, let's not just waste our time. Hmm? If you have the money, transfer it into my account. Hmm? Then you can have me all to yourself or nothing. <sighs> Ivy, don't make things difficult for me. You know I love you. Eh? It's not just about money. What is it now? Eh? Please.
I am Obwe Fin Zakonobi, the chief priest of Akama. I know you, and I know I have no business with you. So what are you doing in my company? You must not guide anyone on how to free her. Why? She belongs to me. You forced that young woman into your hands. And that is none of your business, Obwefi. Stay away from this. For you to finally develop the boldness, to come into my compound to warn me, simply means your cover is blown. I am going to trigger a separation between you and that innocent woman. And I want you to stop me if you feel you can. I have removed my cap for you. That simply means your cover is blown. On a care market day, you will remain restless. On Oriya Market Day, you will know no peace. On Afo Market Day, the air will reject you. And on Unpo Market Day, even the ground will reject you. All the remaining days of your life, <laughs> you will know no peace as long as you continue to hold on to that innocent girl. Good evening, welcome. Um, I was hoping to see you yesterday when you came back. Uh, oh. Yes, I came back and was overwhelmed with work. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry about that. How did it go? Uh, both requested to see you. When? On any market day of your choice. I suggest you should go on this uh, Saturday because it's a game market day. That means I should start preparing. Exactly, immediately. Oh, there's no, we don't have time. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, please, Izu. No one should hear about this until it's over. Exactly what I want to tell you. And I said, so just keep it to yourself. Yeah. Sure, you will keep it for me. Exactly, I will. I will. Why not? But start preparing on Saturday so I can. No, we don't have time. I Let will. me go back to my report. Thank you. See you. Thank later. you. Come in. Hi. Hi. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Please sit. Thank you. Um, so what do I offer you? Water will do. Water? Just water. Mm. Don't worry. It's soft. Okay. I just asked for water. Yes. But I decided that we need something better than water. Very well then. Thanks all the same for the wine. You requested to see me. Yes, I did. Here I am. I just want to know, what exactly do you want from me? 
<laughs> Whew, what I want from you. I want to make you my wife. The mother of my children. Why me? I don't understand. Why me of all women in Akama? Let's say you possess what I want in a woman. Oh yes. <laughs> really? Yes, really. <laughs> okay. Maybe you should start listing those qualities I possess. <laughs> I'd like to hear them. This one you want to talk to me today, I hope I'm safe. Why are you sounding like that now? Eh? That is because you have been avoiding all of us. See, it's not like that. It's just that there is something I'm working on and that thing seems to have matured. What could that be? The king is into me. Are you sleeping with the king? Yes, but keep this between us, okay? Sure. I will not tell anyone. Since the queen has refused to bear children for the king, I've made myself available. And if it works, I mean, if the king finally gets me pregnant, Queen Asana will be relegated and I, I will step in as queen of Akama. You sound as if you had all this planned out already. Mm, exactly. And if I finally become the queen of this great kingdom, you will be promoted as the chief maiden of this beautiful palace. How about that? Wow, that sounds great. Mm. And please, no one should hear about this, okay? <laughs> My future lady. Chief. <laughs> Look at her. She wants to be the queen. I don't blame her. I'm really sorry for the way I treated you. I bear no grudges. You're only being a woman. So I understand. Thank you for understanding. You're welcome. What? Nothing. You know, that's not true. Something must have been the reason you staring at me like that. <laughs> You're actually right. So what is it? I am not telling you. I beg of you to tell me. It's actually nothing, just that I am surprised and you know I I feel so relaxed and very comfortable with you. <laughs> Come on. He almost pulled me off my feet. I thought you wanted to say something. Something, something. Anyways, I am pleased with those words of yours. I'm happy with that. Thank you. 
The pleasure is mine. Okay, so, shall we drink to that? Of course. All right, so, can you do me the honors? With your pleasure. So we... We're going to be toasting full. To what? We're toasting to... Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> Right? Oh so, have it. That shows is a successful journey. Don't you think? Let's toast to a wonderful relationship ahead. Rest. No matter what thing you give or no, without the side chicks, you know the rest. Chai, or the quite very smart, you man, you didn't want to ask somebody. I put on what if I now watch again, if I now watch again, I saw you. So, what is it, Ozeman? Akudu is planning something devious. What is she planning? She's planning on getting pregnant for you since Queen Asana is yet to give you a child. She will not step in as the real queen Why Queen Asana is relegated to the background. She said that to you. I heard her saying it. <sighs> Thanks for the information. You're welcome, your majesty. You may leave. I know it. I saw it coming. Huh. Women are indeed predictable. Good afternoon, Papa. Say whatever you want to say and leave. I don't have time. Okudili and his people want to come and see you. To do what? He wants to come and make known his intentions about me. Tell them not to come. But why, Papa? Beatrice, that young man wants to exploit you and walk away. Papa, you're judging him wrongly. Okudili is not that kind of person. I've known him for quite a while. He's not like that, Papa. This discussion is over. Tell him that I don't want him as a son-in-law. Why exactly, Papa? Why? Why do you not want him to be your son-in-law? I've answered your question already. From all indications, you clearly want it the hard way, and I'll give it to you like that, Papa. What did you just say? You heard me right. I am going to get pregnant for him, and you'll be forced to give him your consent. You dare not. You see, Papa. You dare not! Patriot, try it! I told your local government headquarters is still follow! Oh, okay. Now you dare it. Go and get pregnant. Then you will see what I'm made of. Hey, this girl is white. Hey, it's all right. We shall see.
Don't move an inch further. Any problem, Your Majesty? You. You are the problem. What is my offense? How dare you? How dare you? Despite all my good intentions towards you. I don't understand. You wanted me to get you pregnant. You want the king of this kingdom to get you pregnant so that you can destroy him, my name and take over. Since who? Swear! Swear by the offer that I represent that you never had such an evil plan against your king. Upon all my good plans for you. I'm, I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'm, I'm sorry. Leave my presence now. Your Majesty, please forgive me. Your sight irritates me. Get out of my sight. irritates me now. He triggered his own destruction by coming into my compound to show his face. What? He was here? He came in here to warn me. And he ended himself by so doing. I want you to take this water, wash your face and your ears, and then you give him to do the same. By this very simple ritual of cleansing, you will no longer see his face and you will no longer hear his voice. It is done. It's, uh, it's, uh, oh, boy, you told me we need a Libya to do this. How come you are the one doing it? He finally exposed himself in my compound and I came to realize he is just a small demon that even the basic masquerade of Akama can handle. Hey, let me see that bead. You have run your waist. Uh, oh boy, you, you won't see anything. You won't see. There's, there's nothing in my waist. There is a bead. Look at the bead. Ah. Hey, it's true. This is my special gift to both of you. And I want you to wear this always. He will no longer be able to do anything to you. And if he tries to rise against you in any way, the masters of Akama will deal with him massively. He said, he said, and you are going to live to fulfill your day's life. You see, you believe that? Thank you. Thank you, my baby. Thank, Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Gordon. Okay. Thank you.
The same thing you tell other girls. No. I only tell them they are sweet. But you are unarguably the sweetest. Mm. <laughs> okay. So, baby, when am I going to see you again? We agreed upon something. Sure. Until that is fulfilled, we may never see you again. Who is at the door? Come in, the door is open. Pregnancy in three minutes. What are your plans about it? I thought we've already gone past this. Why bring it up again? I told you to abort it. I am not going to abort this child. I am keeping this child and you are taking full responsibility for it. I am a married man and I am not ready to have a second wife. Oh really? Well, I'm not asking you to marry me. Just make me comfortable during and after the pregnancy, that's all. I will not do that! Just abort this pregnancy and stop this nonsense! Oh, really? You heard me. <laughs> no problem then. She's pregnant for you. Just, 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 just go. Leave me. Just, just go. Anyway, you're right. See you next time. Right of side chicks, you know. It does set whether you like them or not. You must spell. Right of side chicks, you know. What is it? What is it? Isu. Why do you stop? I can feel his presence with him. Yes. I am here and I'm going to kill the both of you. I can feel his presence as well. That means he's within and he's watching. Exactly. What do we do? You know what? You don't have business with him. You lie! She belongs to me! What has this man done? What did he do to me? Are you sure Uchiha Akidi is the one responsible for your pregnancy? Yes, my queen. And he's refusing to take responsibility for his actions? Yes, my queen. What exactly do you want him to do? My queen, I am not asking him to marry me. I only ask for him to take care of me while I carry the baby, till I put to bed. Which is the normal thing to do. Yes. But he has refused to do it, and that's why I'm reporting this matter to you. These men, they are all so irresponsible. Why are they bent on destroying this kingdom? It's because they have no conscience. Please, assist me to deal with them. I am assisting already. But just like I said to one of you earlier, I do not in any way support or encourage your loose lifestyle. The route I have taken is my technical way 
of clamping down on these loose men that parade themselves as saints. Hmm? You are welcome once again, hard-working Queen Asana of Akama Kingdom. Thank you, Owefi Nzakonobi. I am here to discuss something very important with you. Something that is going wrongly. Something that if it's not stopped now, we're bound to get ruined somewhere down the line. I must have to say that your words are very heavy. May I know what the problem is? Obwefi, some maidens of our land are suffering and are seriously aggrieved. This is because grave injustice is being meted on them by elders of our land who cannot keep their libidos in check. They get these maidens pregnant and force them into having abortions. The maidens in question are young enough to be their daughters. Obwefi, if the dog now eats the bone hung round its neck, are we not ruined as a people? I understand what the problem is. I understand exactly where you are coming from, but I want to find out. How do you want me to get involved? Wifi, I know you as the leader of the masquerade cult of Akama land. And you are revered as the man, the only man who can call other men to order. I have investigated you. And you have come out as upright as everyone testifies. I am therefore convinced you are not part of the men involved in this abominable act. It is therefore safe to say that only you can stop this. You know, I must have to say that I am very happy. Very happy in the sense that someone as elevated as the Queen of Akama is the one who has taken it upon herself to tackle this problem. I am giving you my word. I am going to call the man to order. Yes, I am going to use my position to find a way to flog them back into line. Thank you for giving me listening ear. I did not want to embark on this and ruin marriages in the process. And so far, I am succeeding without doing so. I need you now to help tame the waywardness of the men. For it is service to our land. Thank you. What does the Queen stand to gain in all this? No, no, what is the topic of today's uh, uh, meeting? Why is he so stingy that he cannot pay for services that are graciously rendered to him? Is that not wickedness? Ichaika, will you keep quiet? What kind of rubbish are you talking about? Huh? Look, the issue on the front burner right now is not about to know. The Queen has taken our matter to Obwefi Uzakonobi. That is what is happening. And now, he has briefed the king about his intention to hold a meeting with the Igwe in council before the offer of Akama. And now you are opening your mouth to talk nonsense. What has it to do with oh, oh, no, Idiot! Mu, idiot! Yes, you are idiot! You stingy! It's okay, it's okay. Uh, your Majesty, you have to speak to the Queen. Let her find a way to retrieve that matter from the Obuefi. Why will I do that? Obuefi Nze Akonobi has indicated his interest to have a meeting with the cabinet members before the offer of Akama. Automatically, the queen is out of this. But she started it. Obuefi Nze Akonobi is deeply wired into the ancients. He sees 
little things. Things as basic as telling little lies to keep body and soul together as taboo. He will involve the ones of deadly and better forgotten masquerades of Akama. My king, if that man comes here, he will twist everything and label what we are doing as abomination. And you know what that means, my king? Of course. Igwe is aware of what you are saying. Ogwe Fu Zakonobi will insist on cleansing. From cleansing to oath faking before Ajay. Uh, uh, for us to stop all these things. Igwe. <laughs> Use your capacity as Igwe to stop that man from coming. How am I going to do that? Use your power, your majesty, to stop the meeting. Yes. Obwe Fei cannot force the meeting to hold. Oh. I have always avoided that man. The last time I met this man was three years ago. When he came to inform me of a matter that I thought I was the only one on the know. I was shocked to my bone. You see what I mean? Yes. You see what I mean? That man is not living in this age. So let us find a way of keeping him on his lane. Uh, we feel Zakonobi is the priest of our journey, Akama. We cannot stop him from doing whatever he wants to do. Especially when the ancestors are involved. We can't stop him. <sighs> um, <laughs> Um, if this meeting must hold, then I ask for permission to go to my maternal side. You know, I told you some time ago that I fell from palm tree and broke my waist. The people of Oboji, my maternal people, are very good on bone setting. They have been calling me. So let me use this opportunity for you them. You lie. On the contrary, you lie. If Queen Asana has promised to do something, then she's going to go all out. The lady is a nice person, and I pray God keep her for a very long time. He say, honestly, I can't wait to hear the good news that the men of this kingdom will no longer be able to deceive our maidens, and that our maidens will be able to do something when this happens. So what exactly did you ask the man to do for you? Well, me, I wanted to keep the pregnancy and let him take full responsibility of the pregnancy. But the queen, the queen is insisting that he takes care of the child even when he or she is born and until the child is established in life. Hmm. That is a serious issue. Yes. You see, if the queen succeeds in this, then this would be the beginning of new era in Akama. The era of child support. Yeah, you're right, my friend. And that was exactly what the queen said. I mean, a man who is careless enough to get a woman pregnant, he should be careful enough to take care of both the mother and the child. Of course. Indeed. This is a good time to be a woman of Akama. Why would you take such steps without informing me first? I have not done anything wrong, my king. On the contrary, everything is wrong. By reporting the members of my cabinet to Wefi in Zakonobi is a slap on my face. Automatically, it means the matter is too big for your king to handle. I'm sorry you feel that way, my king. I but, didn't mean to offend you. But that is what it is. Reporting me to the priest automatically means I cannot handle the matter. That is what it means. My king, with due respect, I wish to say that I got bored playing politically by the rules. And so I decided to take the bulls by the horns. So, what are you trying to imply by talking about politics? If you're are you in any way saying that I am a politician? If you are not a political king, why then are you avoiding the priest of our journey? The answer is simple. It is because the sacredness that comes with the priest repels you politicians and that is why you cannot appear before him as I have. Many things are going wrong in our land 
there is a mystery that I need to resolve and it's only he that can help. But this is a matter that I'm already handling. Why take this matter to the priest? Your Highness, there has been a mystery that I have been struggling to unmask. And Obwefi Nzakonobi is the man to resolve the mystery. That is why I went to him. You know what, Asana? I would rather advise you to withdraw that case from the priests of our journey. That will be impossible to do. Because as I speak to you, the priest has gotten involved. Involved in what? What matter are you talking about? Dogs are now eating the bones hang around their neck. The priest is in the know now and he is going to solve it. I cannot stop him. How come men in council are not interested in the Uzu? No, 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 You all look tensed up. May I know what the problem is? <clears throat> um, Ogwefe is You are the most powerful and dreaded priest of our land. Like a Scorpio, smooth on the surface, but poisonous at the tail. It is you we greet. Um, Obwefe, I will be the last idiot to behave like an ostrich that keeps burying its head in a hot sun and keep claiming that all is well. We are not happy. Why? I want to know, why will a priest of Ajahn listen to a woman when the men are very active in their homes? The woman is the brother of the man, remember? No, are you now telling me that the man is more powerful than his mother? Obwe, to tell you the truth, we don't know where this is coming from. Oh no, you know where this is coming from. I already fixed a meeting. A meeting that I want to hold before the offer of Akama and the date for this meeting has been communicated to all of us. Why are we not waiting for that meeting? Um, we are aware that um, you are going to condemn us before the offer of Akama. We know the implication and that is why we summon the courage to come here to see you. So that we can plead with you. Please, try and uh, make things easy for us. Give us a soft landing, Pico. Oh no, there is something I need you men in council to understand. Abortion is the same thing as murder. For there is nobody anywhere who can say that he is aware of the very time a king is conceived. How can a man of Akama impregnate a woman of Akama in Akama and is ordering that woman of Akama to abort the pregnancy? How can that be said? I am the one who has committed this grave sin. Thank the girls, she has not aborted it. I am ready to take care of the girl and if she wants me to marry her as a second wife, I will do so because I do not want the wrath of Ajani of Akama to fall on me. Me too. Yes. <laughs> yes. I think it's okay. You know, I have allowed all these things to go on all this time, all this while, because I kept believing that men are men enough to know the things that are right and the things that are wrong. Things continue to get from bad to worse to the extent that men in council will now come before the sheep priest of Akama and they are scared of the Nzu. 
Men are keeping what they call side chicks. Extra women. And they are not seeing anything wrong in that. I want order to stop. Because if that fails to stop, I will have no other option than to involve the offer of Akama in a final solution to this problem. Not yet. Queen of Akama, you put smile on the faces of ladies. You were free to fight. By Angel. Welcome, Papa. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. You are looking moody. Any problem? I'm okay, Papa. Alright. So, where is your mother? She went for Umu Adam meeting. Hmm. I wonder what they discussed in this uh, Umu Adam meeting. Because, um, Obuefi Nzakunobi has already resolved the problem. He has? Mm -hmm. How did he resolve it, please? Beatrice. Yes, Father. Tell Lukudiri to come with his people to commence the process of uh, your marriage to him. Father! Did I hear you well? Of course you did. Please come again. I... I think I'm hallucinating. I have approved your marriage. To Okudere. Father! You are not pranking me, are you? <laughs> Wait, Father! Okudere can come and see you with his people. No! We have heard the warning from the chief priest, and he did not bar the men from having a extramarital affair. He warned them to be committed with the women in their lives, or remain with their wives. Hmm. This thing is sure not as simple as you think. And the one who listened to the chief priest, and his warning is complex and complicated. Complex and complicated. Sure. I don't know what you mean by complex and complicated. What I heard is that the queen took the matter to the chief priest and he warned that the men should start taking care of their side chicks. That is misinformation. The priest never said that. He actually called this side chick and frowned at that word, then warned that men must stop. But chief, does he have the power? I mean, what is his business? in the private life of the people. Obuefi is the chief priest of Akama. His power transcends even checkmating morality. Now he warned that everything concerning side chick must stop. What if the man refuse? He will involve the offer. And trust me, nobody wants to face that offer. So what are we going to do now? I'll get married to you. Then you become my second wife. When that is done, I'll continue taking care of you, knowing full well and taking care of my wife. Uh, Chief, what if I refuse? Then we have to discontinue whatever it is we are doing. Obuefi is bringing sanity into the land and I don't want to be a scapegoat. Because of the key belt, Kiri Chadu Wancha. Because of Wakona Kogi. Come in. Okay, Kiri Chadu Wancha. You promise a bomb waggy. What you cannot do. You chef is here. Onyadi Ramwebune. Chibi Ubo.
Honestly, I know you are angry. That is why I invited you here so we can talk this over once and for all. But how do you intend to do that? I mean, you got me pregnant and very soon everyone is going to notice that I am pregnant. The chief priest of the land is already involved in this issue. He is most likely going to involve the power of the UFO. And I do not want you to get to that level. Honestly, Chief, I don't get this. Is this why you invited me over? What exactly is my business with the UFO or whatever? Okay, this is it. You are no longer going to abort this pregnancy. Also, you will not raise this child as a single mother. How exactly do you mean? The chief priest of the land has opened a new page in Akam. What we call side chicks is now at Lord. I am going to marry you and you are going to give birth to this child as a married woman. But Chief, am I ready to get married to a man who has a wife already? Any woman who is ready to get involved with a married man, she'll also be ready to get married to the man. Just say yes, and you're married. We know for come <laughs> you put smile. On the faces oh, of ladies, you were free to fight. Of course, we know more freedom fight. There she comes. <laughs> Hello. Ah, oh, greetings. You are no, courageous. Greetings, you are greetings, greetings, <laughs> and greetings. <laughs> Hug. You mm. are courageous. Good to see you. Even Good to see you. Listen. Thank you. Listen. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is nice. Mm. Something smells so good. What is that? It's smelling couple, couple. <laughs> couple. Where? Where are you like this? Beautiful couple. Where are you like this? Like what? My God. <laughs> Prove me wrong if that's not the case. Of course you're right, Your Majesty. I said it! <laughs> Your Majesty, you've just spoken the truth and nothing but the truth. Okay. Your Majesty, here is a card. Oh my God. Our wedding have been fixed. I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> this is so beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this gladdens my heart greatly. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> you know you single-handedly made this possible. That's correct. And I will forever be grateful to you. Please, don't even mention it. As you know, putting smiles on the faces of the people has come to be what I consider as my ministry. So I am delighted to have been the vessel that manifested this because this is awesome. I'm happy for you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. And guess what? I have graced this event already. With the king. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thank you so thank much. You. Don't even mention it. I thank keep you. saying it. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me, I don't see the king's fault in this. He has already settled you with a huge amount of money. Use that money to establish a business for yourself or something. Your own man will come. Honestly, I, I feel used. Ivy, I feel used. How do you mean? This is not what I bargained for. This is not what I bargained. 
I was I was hoping the king could get me pregnant. And then I'll bear him a son. And then I'll step in as the queen. What? What did you just say? Indeed, you sound very wicked to me. I think you deserve exactly what you got. You know what? Lick your wounds without involving anyone. Just look at her. You want to really get the queen. Are you confirming to me that you're finally pregnant? <laughs> Your Highness, there you have it. Medical science has given us confirmation and it's right there in your palm. <sighs> I am pregnant. God decided to show up in his own time. I'm six weeks gone. <laughs> Thank you so much for what you have done for the women of this kingdom. Maybe this is the reason why God decided to remember you finally. I know, right? <laughs> this child will comfort. Not only as a blessing to this kingdom, but as a blessing to the entire world. You see. I'm happy with you. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Yes. Right upside checks to you. In a city, whether you like them or not, you must bear. Right upside checks to you. In a city, whether you like them or not, you must bear. No more heat and run away. In a city, whether you like them or not, uh -huh. you must bear. Right up, chingum gears. In a city, whether you like them or not, uh -huh. you must bear. This is right of side chicks. Uh -huh. In a city, whether you like them or not, uh -huh. you must bear. Right of woman. In a city, whether you like them or not, you must bear. Now, so I see ya. Mm -hmm. She be troubled as me. The younger go wake up. The dead, yeah, oh no, JJ. You go me to them. Come the promise then Heaven on earth You can promise Waiting past you oh God. Because of a kid Because of a kid Okay, you You promise a bomb What you cannot do You can't do what you can Isikechi akwaya, melo ginkegi, mabalo mungemo. 